I'll explain Close later because it, like, it looks like we're jumping straight into game one here, so we will talk about it later. <laughs> Ooh, it's been a hot moment since I've last casted. So we got Thomas446, the Inkling player, versus Polo, the Bowser player, who has been rampaging his way through brackets, much like he rampages his way uh, through the stage as 17th fastest in the game. He does. I think I saw that he beat Lotus 7 earlier. That's a, I mean, that's a win right there. It was a complete domination. It was a three stock. And it wasn't even close. I mean, I say three stock and not even close, but oh my god, Polo is one hell of a player. And Thomas446, he also uh, he also ended up three stocking to get into the top eight. So this is going to be one hell of a set. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, look, just looking at this matchup straight up, Inkling versus Bowser, traditionally thought to be a little tougher for Inkling, but uh, Thomas really keeping it even here, despite not being able to use that jab for the inking. But Bowser looking a little yellow. But oh, sorry, way, it's pronounced so Poyo because... Different languages, my bad. I keep on pronouncing it Polo. Sorry. <laughs> Polo has one L. That's the... That's Polo! The pronounce it the Y. The <laughs> that's the t-shirt. <laughs> God. Polo in the Polo. Oh, that's... Whoa! Interesting. An interesting spot to use down B there. Like, bruh. Yeah, so down B has a kind of a weirder scoop box on the front of it that can touch the edge. I've had my fair share of run-ins with that move, but... Thomas finding himself off stage, trying to find his way off the ledge with a quick reversal. Inkling gonna throw Bowser right off the oh, stage. Oh, upper, here. nice little ledge catch there. Absolutely, yeah, picking up on those options that he was ledge trapping Thomas for a good 20 seconds or so earlier. He was picking up on those options, and Poyo absolutely exploiting that ledge for that. But 182, max rage Bowser. This is where the issues can start coming in for Inkling on unless he is dead. Bowser decides to play nice today. But nice to come up, falling up here to up tilt. Haven't seen that one before. Thomas using, really see where these uh, character character knowledge is coming in. He's experimenting. He knows he can't use that jab. We see him using the splatter shot more. He's even coming in some falling up air combos. And here we see a roller. Nice reset. And Bowser's off stage. This is, where, this is exactly where Inkling wants Bowser to be. What well, about a fire? This time Polio is going to try and ledge trap. Misses the up smash. Going to shield uh, Thomas his own F smash. And once again, we're back off stage. Right now, Polio just holding this ledge just barely. Never mind. He's dead. Oh, he whiffs! <laughs> Ooh, just a little off the mark there. Bowser going to be living to see another day. And that is not what Inkling wants. Because Inkling now having to deal with a max rage Bowser. One of these two characters is going to kill a lot more easily than the other. But hoo-ha, not quite. Or yeah, booyah, so. rather. It's Inkling. But 166, like I said, max rate. Actually, no, ma rate, max rate happens at 190. So coming up on max rate, but this inkling's at 106. And inkling, as we all know, does not have a lot of weight behind him or her. And that down smash destroys that weight. It, it, their ankles are gone. They lost 20 pounds from that. Exactly, and you can see exactly oh, what earlier with that jab this does not work. Y'all saw y'all saw that down B read, right? <laughs> that was quite an interesting option. Poyo, who are you? Exerting dominance. Oh my yeah. Jesus! Point that's getting clipped as a raw Gordon Ramsay S match. Speaking of Gordon Ramsay, your PFP, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think I think that Bowser took some martial arts of that last one because that drop kick was looking quite practiced. Becomes expected. At one point or another, but right now we're gonna see game number two going straight back to FD. Thomas saying the stage was not the problem. And he just Knows what he needs to adapt to. I really like. I, I really want to point out. I like how he's using splatter shot because that is not going to be ignored by tough guy, and he can get the ink that way since he can't use the jabs. Very nice immediate character knowledge out of Barry by Thomas. Can I get a ride that Barry hard? Even though it was at an early percent, able to get like 35, 40 percent off of that one interaction there. Gonna see if he can hold advantage, but Poyo is looking like he's starting to come back strong. But off stage right now, gonna see how well Thomas can hold this. Throwing Bowser right back off stage. He's going to be using this flat bomb, getting that ledge trapping, but the get up attack invincibility going to go right through it. Narrative shield, nice damage. Thomas firing right back, quite literally, with the splatter shot. He's got his forward throw. He's got Bowser in the air right now. Or not. The splatter. I mean, that's very. Hmm. Getting that roller and not going to whiff the forward smash this time. I'm going to brush that stock right off. So let me double check these players' seedings. Uh, so Thomas446 is seated 10th, but Poyo seated 3rd. So Ooh. if anything, you think Poyo's going to win this because, you know, once you get to that top 10 seeding, every single slot really does matter. But Thomas is holding his own. And well, for that matter, having a, having a stock lead right now, never mind, he is dead from that side B. You got to be careful about his way. His bones be thick. Bowser Ball, a very fearful move. Have you seen the images of the uh, Hurt Box drawback on that move? I have not, I'll have to take a look. 
Yeah, within so it comes out on frame six, and within that six frames, he actually completely just swings his body backwards. So he's completely out of the way. Her box shifting, a mechanic and that not invincible. a lot of people pay attention to. But not going to be able to use those invincibility frames right now, taking quite a beating. Thomas has kept him at ledge here for a good bit. 146 on the yellow mac and cheese Bowser. And a roller, another stock. Speaking yes. of mac and cheese, dead. I don't even know what that has to do with mac and cheese. No, it definitely was not a cheesy Oh, kill never mind, he's dead too! That one, but that one, we might have to have a judge's discretion on the cheese levels of that one. <laughs> Speaking of mac and cheese, oh my god. <laughs> Thomas, Once again, Thomas fire, holding it. Oh, sorry. The, the fire is still lit within Thomas. 66 on Poyo, 84. The disadvantage is still here. Another roller, 114. Like and Thomas he's dead. Like zero to death, and he does on the Whoa! forward air. Inklings, one killing aerial. Thomas coming in, even though that he kind of got rocked that first game. He is coming back strong, game two, with that little zero death combo as we just saw there. I love kind of the plotline irony of how Bowser defeated, of how exciting he doesn't. Yeah, Poyo, I really like this switch because Poyo is seeing that he's in disadvantage for most of the game, especially as a character like Bowser. And he's, he wants this character, kind of this character switch with Game & Watch. He's going to be able to get out of disadvantage a lot more easily, which is where Thomas has been getting a large majority of his damage. Indeed so. We're going to see how this turns out here, but this is Battlefield, which I believe favors Inkling a bit more because, you know, able to use these platforms to extend his or her combos. In this case, Inkling is a her. But you can never assume gender. I believe so, yeah. Battlefield especially, it will... The one thing about it is Game & Watch can re retreat to that top platform safely. Uh, with, of course, the infamous up B. But you are right about the combo extensions for Inkling. The grenade placements. I call it grenade, but it's the splat bomb. Uh, splat bomb placements, but... Let's say uh, Polio is not going to be letting that occur here. Getting the chef at the ledge to go through a couple of smash attacks. Not going to land any of them just yet, though. Not quite. Thomas knows exactly how to approach Game & Watch's smash attacks, because whenever Game & Watch is kind of over there, he, uh, looking at his C-Stick a bit, it's kind of intimidating, because, well, I mean, his smash attacks are freaking fast. That is 100% true, and they all hit hard. It's like, the down smash is the only one that doesn't, and even, well, we all know what follows that up. Yeah, it's it's F smash. Even then, <laughs> it, certain hitboxes cause it to send as a really really poor angle to recover at, and some and some other hitboxes they anti air. Like Game and Watch's down smash needs a nerf. Same with up, but yeah. <laughs> like imagine burying, anti airing, and sending at a poor angle. Like oh, and killing at some at some at some hitboxes. One could make an argument for it, but right now it doesn't look Speaking like. Speaking of oh, killing, never mind. Never mind. Dead. <laughs> I was starting to say, speak, however, Poyo is not using down smash that much right now, and it was. <laughs> Preemptive commentator search 131, even though Game & Watch is quite literally two-dimensional, technically, theoretically, having no mass behind him, he's still alive at this percent. Commentator's curse, never mind. Why am I here? <laughs> 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 Up at a shield, who would have expected that right now? Thomas is trying to get in. 69, 76%, about to get ladder to the top, no! Only able to get one bit of roller in and unable to really punish any of Poyo's options. Yeah, Poyo is really using this up B. He's getting out of those combos. He's not letting uh, Thomas extend the com combos on those platforms. Using that invincible frame three up B to get out of there. And is it? He's still a little bit. He's a little bit ahead in the percentage game right now. So this character pick really paying off for Poyo. He's not even having to recover off the ledge that much. We see that up B to that up air to another up air. He's really What's pulling the out these aerials to kind of wall out Inkling. Bit of bacon, that's back here, 118 right now, Pomo looking really nice on stage right now, we're gonna see if he can hold Thomas off, it's gonna be Nair not really sending him too far away, it's gonna allow Thomas to land back in with an air dodge, getting center stage, shooting the jab, oh, up he's out of the roller, nice reactions there from Polo. speaking of reactions, up smash, you can't react to it, minus 9 on shield, that is correct, almost oh, at 6, I know it comes out, a little slower than that, but because of the armor that's on it, it's a little harder to do anything to it. But right now, Poyo is not uh, letting Thomas have any room to move here. And that's the difficult part, especially Inkling already has trouble killing, but Game & Watch having that up smash is going to prevent a lot of the short hopping, a lot of the looking for back airs that Inkling is traditionally doing. And that's a big option, so Poyo's counter pick really coming into play here. Very, very strong pick from him. So right now, setting a stock down at 40%, gonna get up thrown. That's some up air strings. 
not gonna get killed from it as up air has been rather neutered from Smash 4, going from a win box to just, to just a normal hitbox. It is with that damage, nonetheless. We're looking. Thomas Dead. looks for the roller. He gets it across the stage. Poyo not reacting in time, and that's going to be a last stock situation for this game three. Indeed so, but 114%. It does look like Poyo has this in the bag, unless Thomas has anything to say about it. And it doesn't look like it. That's going to be a lot of damage from Jab. And the kill? No kill. I didn't think that would kill. Yeah, Thomas knowing exactly how to DI that, but that might be. No, roll it now. Ooh. Excellent. Edge guarding. A little nasty there. Inkling recovery does go a long distance, but definitely going to be kind of linear there. Poyo putting that key right in Inkling's face, and they're going to go. Three, oh, PS2, who would have guessed? It is, and those platforms, gonna, both characters going to be able to shark through those, but it looks like Poyo is going to do it first, getting these nared ladders already going. Nice jab, getting extra damage, 36. And Thomas, once again, finding himself at that ledge, which he does not want to be at versus Game & Watch. Gotta find a way out, and he does. Oh, yes, three from it, though. Well, too late. Neutral. But never mind, actually right back in the game, bringing this back to even with a nice little string of his own. He does 71 on Game & Watch. <laughs> I find it kind of humorous. When the ink is on Game & Watch, he starts looking a little more three-dimensional. I was about to comment on that. I was, I was just thinking, why does that look so weird? Yeah, so what happens is... Down smash, forward smash. What happens? Well, yeah, is that's that, what happens. <laughs> what happens is that Game and Watch is technically a 3D model, but the animation is only on the Z axis, so the ink is sticking to the the orb bubble around him, so it's three dimensional. Yeah, I mean, from what I've seen, I, at least how it worked in Melee is he, like I, like he said, he's a 3D model, but there's a line of code that says, okay, he's two dimensional, and in Sega's like flat zone, that's that code is run on everybody, so it is possible to, to disable the line of code by like gecko cheats and have gaming watch working in 3d and it's weird it is true but right back in it thomas has evened it up pretty much 54 on poyo 67 on thomas he's gonna be looking for one of these backers nice parry not gonna be able to get a hit yet another parry on that dash attack and poyo looking like he's got these parries on deck and ready to take care of all these single hits that thomas has thrown at him Nice little cherry there, not, not the strong hit though, so Thomas is going to have a little bit of life left in him, but eating that Canadian bacon, speaking of strong hit F tilt, there it is! Going to take Ooh, this stock, only 54% right now, no chance, not much threat of death here, Polo, um, Poyo, that was looking like he has a, a mighty fine lead right now, oh, never mind. Nope, still, uh, yeah. Game Watch, just going to live that, you know, Sephiroth wouldn't have lived that. Not at all, For, to those that don't know, Sephiroth weighs the exact same amount as Peach, as Pikachu. For some reason. Man skip leg day. <laughs> that's why he takes his, that's why he takes his shirt off. It's the only impressive part. Alright, well now 160. Yeah, I'm surprised this I'm surprised Poyo's alive right now, but only 47% of mileage there. We'll see if he can hold this. Yeah, Game & Watch with Rage. I mean any character with rage in this game is scary, but Game & Watch especially still holding on. 179. And this is exactly kind of what I was mentioning earlier with Inkling, is that kill power is limited, especially with how much you're uh, using back air in neutral and an advantage and all that. So he's got to find a kill, oh, maybe that... a back throw or something, but... Ooh, the two stock! Down smash. Ay, caramba! Why am I... Why, I don't even say that. That's not... I'm trying to come up with catchphrases that don't exist. Hi, how you <laughs> doing? Polo, Poyo, I can't pronounce stuff. Taking, t taking this bracket 3-1.